In our third reaction, we have an amine plus a strong acid will produce a salt. Notice this time there is no water. The salt will also have an organic cation. So if I have a two carbon amine, and I add a strong acid like HCl, the hydrogen ion from the HCl will join with the amine group. So it will become an NH3, and because the hydrogen ion carries a positive charge, this NH3 group will carry a positive charge. Because the hydrogen carried a positive charge, when the HCl ionizes, we have an H positive and a Cl negative. This is an ionic compound. The ionic bond is shown as the attraction between the positive and the negative ion. And this time, the cation is the organic piece. In this reaction, we have an amine. So we see the NH2 group. This is our two carbon amine. And it's reacting with hydrochloric acid, HCl. So hydrochloric acid, a strong acid, ionizes, and we get H positive and Cl negative. The H positive comes over and attaches to the lone pair. Nitrogen now has a fourth bond, which it normally wouldn't have, but it also carries a positive charge, which, which came with the H positive. The Chloride, having lost an H positive, is left with a negative charge, and the NH3 positive and the Cl negative attract each other by the ionic force, the electrostatic force of attraction.